Alright guys, uh, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and today's video we'll talk about the upcoming banners which is the Yoimiya banner, the new weapons banner as well and the events that are coming up in this uh, second phase of uh, this patch. So let's get started and talk about the new banners first. So as you can see now on the screen, Yoimiya is going to be coming with Sayo which is already pretty much confirmed earlier. So the remaining two 4 stars are Tayona and Seng-Yen. So we can start wishing on 10th of August, which is this uh, Tuesday at around 6 p.m. my time. And yeah, so once it's this time, then you can start to wish. And so from these uh, details, you can tell that uh, Sayu will be available in the uh, standard uh, banner. Eventually, she also make it to other banners after patch 2.1. So yeah, pretty nice. So don't worry if you don't get Sayu in this one, you're still gonna get her in another banner. It's just a matter of time. As I said guys, do not aim for 4 stars, only aim for the 5 star you want, and then only the 4 stars in her in the particular banner. So yeah. Alright guys, so uh, let's talk about Yoimiya first. So as you know, a lot of controversial stuff going around with Yoimiya and maybe drama I can say. Uh, saying that she's pretty weak and the funny thing is uh, I know most of you guys I think played the story quest already and the artifacts on her aren't that great and also the they gave her uh, didn't give her a pyro damage cobra as well so that also made her pretty weak as well in the story quest if you played it already so yeah I think that's why people are pretty uh, upset I can say but who knows uh, who knows they might do a last minute change it happened before with uh, I think Gen Yu but anyway let's uh, uh, talk about Yoimiya. So Yoimiya is a main role is a sub DPS kind of supporting character you can say because uh, when she use her E she basically applies pyro uh, damage to her attack so you can deal a pyro damage spamming the uh, normal attacks something like a Hu Tower he applies E when you apply the E she get a pyro damage uh, infusion as well so something similar and her ult is basically applying some kind of a debuff to the character. You will do AOE damage uh, first, and then after the AOE damage, you will apply a debuff to a character, a mark a target to a character, and then you pass to other characters after you switch to a, another character than your Mia. So it's something as like a supporting kind of character, and she also boosts uh, your team's damage. So pretty much like a Noblesse Oblige built into her as well. So pretty sweet, you can get a tech buff from her after switching to others and so once you're done attacking them then you can switch back to Yoimiya and start doing damage again so pretty much a sub DPS supporting kind of a character which is pretty cool I think in my opinion uh, we have another character Sayu this one is a new character so not much, we didn't have much time to play with her because she's not even out <laughs> so uh, all we can see from the screenshots that we uh, officially seen from Mihoyo is that She's more of a healer based uh, character and also elemental mastery uh, supporting character. You can boost your elemental mastery for your team. And yeah, she's got also a new lolly added to the uh, lolly family, you can say. <laughs> so, fourth lolly squad is now possible now because you got Diona, Klee, Chi Chi, and Sayu. So, it is possible now. And lastly, we got Sing Yen. So, it was a bit of shocking to see Sing Yen appear here because. I mean, how is Singen gonna pair up with the rest? I have no idea because she's mainly a physical damage dealer uh, with a bit of pyro damage as well. And she's also provides shield to the team. I think that's okay. Other than that, that's pretty much it actually for Singen. She's not that great in my opinion based on her kit. Uh, but if you do build her, then I guess this banner is okay. Other than that, it's not looking too good actually for most people. Uh, if, if you're asking me personally, am I gonna wish on this banner? I'm actually gonna say yes. I'm actually wishing for Yoimiya because I like her playstyle. I tried her already in the story quest. I find it very interesting. I like the uh, also her, maybe her the story of her as well. Pretty nice character, and I'm not really into the terms of damage. I don't really care if she's a low damage dealer or very OP or whatever. I get you, <laughs> but uh, I just want to get her so because I. I like the character so yeah anyway guys that is the uh, banner for Yoimiya so if you're interested in this one and you like the character then yeah go ahead and pull for it but if you're skipping on and planning to save up your premium gems for maybe the Raiden Shogun also known as Bell in the next patch 
then you might want to consider doing that because I think a lot of people are actually saving up and skipping this one for the Electro R chord, which I think a lot of people will be very, very hyped for. So if you are not uh, low on Primo Gems and you want to get Yomi, obviously, he's also going to be pretty good. So, yep. So that is the uh, Yomiya banner and I'll be doing a video on summoning her as well. So uh, that will be tomorrow on Tuesday. Once the banner goes live, I'll be covering another video on this as well. Alright, let's move on to the next banner which is the weapons banner. So I don't really talk much about this one because I think I always say to avoid these banners because it's just a scam still. Uh, anyway, let's get through it really quickly. So you got new Thundering Pal, so this is the best in slot, it seems, for Yoimiya and possibly other bow characters like Child maybe or Genyu can use this. So pretty oh, crazy over 5 star weapon for Yoimiya is having a crit damage substat and a passive I believe is also pretty good, like uh, you can read it for yourself. Uh, and the next weapon on it is the Skyward Blade and I'm like... Wow, this is gonna be a tough one because Skyward Blade is there and if you didn't get this, the Thundering Pulse, it's gonna be very heartbreaking. <laughs> Which is why I'm saying avoid this banner. Anyway, let's move on. So for the 4 stars, pretty interesting. We got Sacrifice Sword making a comeback, which is very nice. A best, best in slot weapon for Sig Cho. Uh, we got the Sacrifice Fragments, also best in slot weapon, 4 star weapon for Sucrose. And yeah, we got Dragon's Bane, uh, we got the Forbidden's Warble here. And lastly, the uh, the rain slasher, and I can say the four star weapons, the best one obviously would be the sacrificial uh, the sacrificial series in general are the best overall, followed by the Favonius series and then dragon's bane and lastly the uh, the rain slasher. So yep, so these are the four stars, and actually I'm pretty disappointed that um, Mihoyo didn't put the rust here. I don't know why they put Favonius Warbo. They should put Rust at least because Rust at least your Mia can use it as her main damage comes from uh, normal attacks. So I don't know why they didn't put Rust but anyway, this is the banner and in my opinion, if you're free to play in general and you don't spend any money in this game, you're not a whale, please don't bother about this banner and you can skip this part of the video as well because it's no use and and with the new implementation of the uh, PD system as well, it's still not that helpful at all. It's still catered to uh, big spenders in general. So you're gonna want to skip this one unless you just really want both of these five stars for some reason. Then uh, up to you. Go ahead. But I still suggest don't pull. Save your primogens for a character instead. It's way worth it than this because if you get the wrong weapon. You're gonna be very disappointed. I tell you. So please don't fall for this trap. Alright, let's move on to the next uh, part of the video, which is the events part. So events phase 2 is coming. So we just finished phase 1 uh, already. And now it's, uh, phase 2 will be coming very shortly. So obviously we're going to get Yoimiya. So Yoimiya is part of the event wish. You can see over here, we did talk about this earlier. Uh, blue weapons, banner stuff, also talked about this already. And now this one, Lost Riches event. This one is actually ongoing. So it started about a few days ago already. And you, it's already, I think, day 4 or 5 for some people. And these are the rewards you can get. Free more gems and some resources. You get a new mini CD, Violet. Uh, for those of you who played the game earlier, your new or your older player, you'll be this will be your second CD pet. But if you're a new player, your new player playing Genshin Impact, this will be your first pet you can get. And right, so these are the pets you're able to see over here. Description, you got the Viola, which is a new one. Uh, Dayflower Rose and Kurokuma are the last year's one, so they just added to this year so you can choose which one you want and other viewers as well, so pretty cool. And the major event coming up in the next phase is the Theater Mechanica, so this one also making a comeback again, it was another rerun. And uh, the earlier version of this is during the Xiao Rantan Ride Festival uh, this February. So if you were, you were playing this during that time, this is nothing really new to us. But uh, they might spice it some a bit, I don't know, we have to see on 12th of August when they, the event is out. We can try it out and see whether there's any changes to it. But it's technically mainly a tower defense game. So it is another game in a game, basically. So you can play your friends and build towers to defend uh, to defend the uh, gates so the enemies won't come in and uh, go inside the gate and then you will lose. So you just have to defend, placing those towers strategically and uh, obviously uh, using the right 
elements as well. So a lot of elements involved in this game as well, as this is Genshin Impact. So yeah, there are elements involved, and uh, you got few more gems, couple of rewards as well. So pretty nice. And we're also gonna get a exclusive name card. So I think this is a different one than the last year's one. Should be a different one. And I'm not sure what's talismans. I think it's a currency to exchange for those rewards mentioned up here. Pretty cool. Alright, so the next event, Phantom Flow event. So this one, I think it's uh, pretty similar to like previous challenges kind of event we've done in the past. So got about 10 days to do this event. And this one, if you bring your characters to challenge various bosses or enemies to uh, get Primo Gems, so pretty cool. And yeah, so this is a pretty standard challenge event. I'm gonna have fun here, I guess. Uh, dealing a lot of damage and finding those bosses to get those rewards. But the funny thing is they didn't really say much about the rewards, only just say uh, Primo Gems. So I, I'm assuming it's just Primo Gems maybe, or I don't know, but we'll see once the event comes out on 20th August. And another event, oh, this is a test run event, it's pretty standard. You can test run your Emiya before you pull for her, you can try her out first. Sayu, Diona, and Sting as well will be there as well for the trial event. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And oh, we have one more actually. So the Leyline Overflow event. So this one is actually uh, technically a free condensed racing for 20 racing worth. So you can basically go this event, uh, just claim the uh, Blossom of Wealth or Blossom of Revelation, depending where you want to farm. You say you want to farm more Mora, you can go for the Wealth. You want to farm more EXP books, go for Revelation. And you can do this, I think, three times a day. So three times a day, and after that, is the limit is reached. So make sure you do it three every day to get the most of your resin for the EXP books and the Mora. As you know, these are the resources that are very valuable in terms of upgrading your characters. And Mora, obviously, is going to be used everywhere. So you technically need these resources anyway. So might as well just use it every day for this event. And that's about it. So those are the uh, events for Phase 2 of uh, version 2.0. What you guys think about it? I think it's okay. Mainly V1 events, nothing really super exciting in my opinion for older players. But for newer players returning uh, to play or you're a long time didn't play the game, you're gonna play it again. It's gonna be a very exciting uh, phase for you as you're gonna get a couple of rewards and new events to play as well. And yeah, gonna have fun. And enjoy yourself obviously with the game and yeah that's pretty much it actually for the events all right guys so that wraps up this video for the uh character banners the weapon banners and also the events let me guys think uh, what you think of this uh, banner and also all the other events they show us uh, in, in this video and yeah so that's pretty much it guys for this video thank you very much for watching and as i said earlier i'll be wishing for your mia so you're gonna catch me wishing i'll be posting a video on tuesday uh, of my reactions wishing to her and uh, also hopefully getting uh, Sayu at least because she's a new character I want to try out as well. So uh, we're getting Yomiya mainly and then Sayu, uh, Singen and Dayona is really not a priority to me so if I don't get them or I get them it doesn't really matter much but the main goal is to get Yomiya and Sayu so that's it and I'll be doing the video on Tuesday which is the one the day it, the event banner goes live. I'll be making a video and straight away posting it on YouTube. So you can check out my reactions to it as well and that's pretty much it guys. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.